so I thought I'd just jump on here um, and say hello and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself really. Um, I'm Sarah and um, I'm going to start making a few more videos uh, to showcase my art and um, just to talk about things that interest me and inspire me that I think might interest and inspire you guys too. Uh, yeah, um, I live quite a simple life here. Um, I love doing my art and getting creative and um, we try to um, live off grid as much as possible in the sense that we've started growing our own food and um, we have as little to do with normal society as we possibly can get away with. Um, I've, I've not fallen for any of the... Um, bullshit of the last two and a half years coming up to three years almost um not not a single thing of it um not taken the one two three four five stabs no intentions of taking them um just want to stay away from that whole narrative and agenda you know it's funny um but I've been reading about the, the takeover of the New World Order for the last 20 odd years and you read about it and, and there's like um, a small percentage of yourself that thinks, well, you know, it's not happened. It's possibly it's not true, you know, it's just a theory. But then 2020 hit and it did happen, it is happening, and you realise then that, you know, life can never be the same and uh, you just have to adapt um, so you don't get swept up in it and you have to stay vigil and you have to think and question everything and nothing that we're being told on the mainstream news outlets um, can be believed anymore in fact could it ever be believed and this whole situation this whole two and a half years of absolute tyranny and mind control and psychological attack by the powers that be it's been relentless it's been horrible um and we've had to fight it every day and I suppose well it's changed me it's changed me as a person um, it, it's made me look at life now and and think hold on a minute there's something inherently wrong here um, with life and society and the way the world is there's there's something wrong there, there, there can be no more doubt about it and I decided I don't want anything more to do with that and it's made me um, question my priorities and it's made me look at myself and my my creativity and my whole perspective on life has changed um, I've always been a quite a creative person but I never really pursued it until until now um, there used to be a time when, you know, going out and buying a posh dress was really, really important to me and now it means nothing. Going out to a pub or a restaurant, yeah, it's nice, but it's not the be all and end all and, you know, when they said that we couldn't travel abroad and we couldn't do this and we couldn't do that um, unless we took the stabs then fair enough I was quite prepared to sit down and say I'll never travel abroad again then I won't go to a pub again I'll, I'll live without all those things and for the best part of two years I did do and I have done and um, I'm still enjoying life you just realize that those things are just they're all superficial um, they're not necessary to a happy life so 
yeah here i am i'm just getting on with life we've, we've come out of the bunker now after two years of being pushed down it with psychological um tactics and um tricks and propaganda and fear and i've decided I've, i'm sticking my head out now and no more i want to start living again in the sense that there's a motorbike going past um, i've got the door open um, I just want to start enjoying life. I don't want to live in fear. I, I, you know, I've made my decision. I'm not going to go down this pharmacological route. I'm just going to carry on minding my own business, enjoying life in my little corner of the world with my husband, my dogs and my cat. And um, that's what I'm all about, really. I lost a lot of friends along the way um, because of my views and opinions of the last two years but hey that's okay that was their choice and uh, as well as losing quite a lot of friends because of opinions I've also gained and met a lot of new people absolutely wonderful people who are on the same page and we're all stepping out into the light and realizing um, that there's you know despite the restrictions despite what's been going on there's a big network of us and we're just enjoying life making content and trying to inspire others to just you know make a life outside of what's considered normal it's, it's perfect living on the fringes is perfect a foot in that side when you have to step out there but then both feet in your own little world um, where there's peace and harmony and tranquility and no judgment and um, no coercion, no questions, just living. I will be back on again soon. Um, I will put a link to my website in the comments and um, you could give me a like and a subscribe. Um, as we go along, my videos will probably get a little bit, a bit better um, as I uh, decide what, if any, um, equipment I need to get the production a little bit better right now it's just me sat on a sofa talking to you but yeah it's been lovely